But modern Western civilization has come to rival truth. Rival the truth which came with Abraham alayhi salam. The truth which came with David and Solomon and Jesus alayhi salam. Rival the truth which came with Islam. Everything that modern Western civilization has done was to prevent an al to present an alternative to the religious way of life. And so this is something mysterious. This could not have emerged by accident. It looks like a plan at work. And there are those who have eyes and they want to see and ears and they want to hear and hearts and they want to understand. They're not a people who are content to simply wake up in the morning and go to work after having your roti chanai and work all day and face the traffic and come back in the evening, sit down, have dinner and watch television and go to sleep. Those are the cattle. The cattle. But there are others, men and women, who think and they want to understand. They're not cattle. Such people would ask, did this happen by accident? Or is there an explanation for the emergence of modern Western civilization? Modern Western civilization has as its foremost thinker and scholar presenting its view on history in the person of a German philosopher of history whose name was Friedrich Hegel and there's a long line and a straight line from Friedrich Hegel to Francis Fukuyama Hegel was of the view that history proceeds and history advances with the emergence of a thesis which is then challenged by an antithesis, opposites. And the clash of the two results eventually in their being synthesized, coming together in a synthesis which represents advance of civilization. And so mankind is constantly moving in a direction which is progressive. The Christian view was regressive, going down. The Jewish view is similarly regressive, going down from the golden age. But this Western view is linear, straight line, but progressive, advancing. So every age that comes supersedes the age which came before it. And every age that comes represents advancement in human progress. And since modern Western civilization came after Judaism and Christianity and Hinduism and Buddhism and Islam, the implication is that modern Western civilization has synthesized all that came before it and has now advanced beyond traditional religion. A new world has come now beyond old time and old fashioned religion. I think you have a, a coffee in um, KL, it's called Old Town Coffee. 
old time Gandhi. So old time religion. And so modern Western civilization is of the fervent view that religion has now been superseded. That religion, the religions of the world, are merely tolerated. But they have no role to play in what remains of history. The religions now exist in the museums of history, <laughs> including Islam. And so a new world emerges, a world of politics, where modern Western civilization presents to you political philosophy, a political system, a model of a state. And mankind is required to abandon, abandon all that they had previously, including the Khilafah. <laughs> and embrace this new model which has come from modern western civilization. What you had before now belongs to the museum. It has no role to play in the future of history. Modern western civilization therefore gave to the world political secularism political secularism meaning yeah god no longer has a role to play in politics i wish